Welcome back. We are non erroneous and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We have danced with the Scarecrow for a long time, and now it is the night of the final day. So, we need to get to the clock tower by midnight. So we're going to fly up to the clock tower. At midnight, it opens. So we can get in there and get to that skull kid who's sitting on top. These Deku flowers are amazing. They shoot you really high and they don't wear out. But at this point, after we get our part, we have to wait around for a few hours. So we're going to pause the recording and start it up again when we are finished. See you then. Hello again. It is 11.30. In just a few seconds, it will be 12 o'clock and this clock tower will open. So, here we are. Three, two, one. Boom. Or dong, whatever. Okay, so we'll be heading up there where the moon kid will be. Skull kid. Skull kid. Did I say moon kid? Yes, you did. Um, he'll be trying to crash the moon into the earth and kill We him. are now running out of time. Because a quarter of a day is only about six minutes. So the last, um, the last half of the final night is right here. And he has our ocarina, which we need to get back, and doing so will be very easy after this little dialogue goes. He basically just gave us the hint to win the game. He said to bring the four in the swamp, the canyon, the ocean, and the mountain. And the Skull Kid says that even if they came now, he could handle them. Which obviously he won't. And now he's shooting blue lightning again. Uh, oh right, he did this before. Enjoy the world's easiest boss music. All I really have to do is shoot one bubble at him. Oh, no, it popped. And that should do it. That is the boss. Yes, folks. Anyway, he's much harder to beat later in the game. But right now, all we need is our ocarina. Which somehow turns into some sort of bagpipe contraption. Yes. And when you become a Goron later in the game, it becomes drums. And when you become a uh, Zora later in the game, it becomes an electric guitar. Which is amazing. I really like this flashback, the way that everything's sort of blurry. It just makes it clear that this is the only thing he remembers. He doesn't really remember where they were or anything. And how it's sort of a long way away. Let's hope Zelda doesn't have mono. This is probably the most important song in the game. When we play it, it'll allow us to reset time to the dawn of the first day. Whoops. Try that again. Whoops. 
Next time we play this song, in reality this time, I'll hold the mic up to the speaker so that you can hear it. It's actually a pretty good song. Lag hits now. So anyway, now all we have to do is equip our ocarina, zap ourselves back in time. Works pretty well, actually. These are the bagpipes that come with our ocarina. You can only play them on your Deku Link. Now we will find, er, not find, we will fall down a pit of clocks. And we'll lose all our rupees since we forgot to bank them. There it is, folks, our first time warp. Back at the opening cutscene. Um, we don't have to replay it though. Here's where he was uh, turning us into Deku Link, and there, there's the mask salesman offering us to find our ocarina, and he'll give us a mask. And now down to the first day. The first time I played this, I was really confused by this section, but it turns out all you have to do is go back through the door you enter from, and talk to the salesman. But, for right now, the dawn of the first day is where we shall stop for today. Well, I think we can just go and uh, talk to him. Okay, let's, let's go talk to him. We just enter through the door, right? Right. Everyone in town has very strict schedules that they follow every day. All, all day. They have important things that they need to do, places to be, and if you come in at the wrong time of day, or on the wrong day, you'll just completely miss them. And many events can only happen once in the three-day cycle, such as that robber that I didn't stop last time. This time, I'll be sure to stop him. So, now, let's hope he gives us a Link mask so we can go into normal Link. Yes. Wow. I love how there's an organ inside the clock tower. That is a nice organ, I have to say. That's like the width of ten keyboards, and then there's, uh, it's a tri-keyboard. Imagine some of the glissandos you could do on that thing. What a waste, using only three keys. When you play the Song of Healing, everyone around you, or yourself, feel better. And often that sadness is turned into a mask, in some way. So, I think, um, this is where we'll be ending the video. So? We are now back to our normal selves. Alright, see you next time.